Welcome to Electron Line, and now we're going to take a look at what a weak acid is. So what makes up a weak acid? Well, in the previous video, we looked at strong acids, and the definition of a strong acid is actually weak. Weak on holding, on, at holding on to its hydrogen ion, which means that a weak acid is strong at holding on to its hydrogen ion. In other words, in a tug of war between a water molecule and an acid molecule, the acid molecule usually wins, not always, but usually wins, and only it loses only a small percentage of its hydrogen ion towards the water molecule. So when you have a weak acid, that means most of the hydrogen ions stay with the acid molecule and a small percentage of them will be uh, ripped away from the uh, acid molecule and donated, so to speak, to the water molecule, turning the water molecule into a hydronium molecule. As an example, we have uh, hydrocyanic acid added to water and we end up with a hydronium ion and the cyanide ion but only to a certain percentage not completely so we you see that the reaction goes back and forth and it will stabilize at some point where there's some equilibrium reached and only a small percentage of the molecules will have turned itself into cyanide ions and hydronium ions and the majority will probably stay as uh, hydrocyanic acid now as an example, here we have a, a, some, a list of some weak acids. For example, we have formic acid and acetic acid and tri trichloroacetic acid, hydrofluoric acid, hydrocyanic acid, hydrogen sulfide. Water is considered a weak acid because a small percentage, about 1 in 10 million of its molecules, will donate a hydrogen ion to another water molecule and turn that into a hydronium molecule. Uh, or ion, I should say, and we have the ammonium ion, which is also a weak acid. So, as an example, how does that work? So let's say we have an acetic acid uh, in solution, and no notice that we start out with a one molar concentration of acetic acid. What percentage of that will actually dissociate into the uh, acetic ion and hydrogen ion, so that the hydrogen ion can then convert itself uh, with combination of water molecule into a hydronium ion? So this would be the simple equation, acetic acid will turn into the acetic ion and hydrogen ion, but of course in reality acetic acid turns itself into the acetic ion and the hydronium ion since the hydrogen ion will then combine with a water molecule. Notice that with a one molar concentration of acetic acid, only 0.0042 molar for the acetic ion and 0.0042 molar for the hydrogen ion, of course the the concentration of those two has to be the same because for every, uh, every molecule or every ion of acetic acid, we end up with one uh, ion of hydrogen. So if we now want to know what the pH of that solution is, notice that the pH will depend upon the concentration of the hydronium ion. And even though we start out with a one molar solution, which would give us, let's see, what would the, what would the pH be for a one molar solution? The pH would be equal to minus the log of 1 and of course that would be equal to so this would give us a pH of 0 if the concentration was 1 and instead notice that the concentration of the hydronium ion is only 0.0042 so we take the log of that we get a pH of 2.376 another way of looking at that is the percent ionization so we can see that if we put a 1 molar solution of acetic acid uh, in, a, in a container that only 0.42% of that will dissociate into the acetic acid uh, or the acetic ion and the hydrogen ion. And so you can see that because of that the pH concentration is much greater and therefore we consider the acid to be a lot weaker. Again, a weak acid is very strong at holding on to its hydrogen ion. A strong acid is very weak at holding on to its hydrogen ion. So that defines the strength of an acid. The more it hangs on to its, uh, its hydrogen ion, the weaker the acid is, so to speak. So we see some examples later on where we can look at certain types of acids and the smaller the percentage of ionization, the weaker the acid, the greater the percentage of ionization, the stronger the acid. And that's how we look at weak acids and conversely strong acids.